The enhancement of land, water, and wildlife habitat at Troy Meadows. Troy Meadows is a U.S. national natural landmark located in the Central Passaic Basin in northern New Jersey. It is primarily owned by a private nonprofit organization, Wildlife Preserves Incorporated, and managed as a natural area and wildlife sanctuary. Troy Meadows is a mix of meadows, fields, and forests, containing a variety of common and endangered plant and animal communities and many biological features, ponds, and vernal breeding pools. It is part of the Atlantic Flyway and serves as a staging area for migratory waterfowl. It is an exceptional resource for many species of fauna and flora and contains a dense population of avian and amphibian species, a particular haven for frogs, salamanders, and marsh birds. Troy Meadows was once rated the highest quality inland wetland in the state of New Jersey by the U.S. Department of Interior, published in its 1954 Nationwide Inventory of Wetlands Resources, but has since been degraded by encroaching suburban development, water and silt pollution, and invasive species of plants that are taking over its once native natural habitat. Wildlife Preserves is on an aggressive campaign to remove invasive species of plants from the meadowlands and woodlands at the north end of Troy Meadows in an effort to enhance the freshwater marsh, forests, and wildlife habitat here. The project also includes installing deer exclusion fencing around some of the woodland areas and replanting the meadows and woods with native plant species. All the invasive species, from Phragmites reedgrass, Japanese barberry, to stilt grass have been located, mapped, and are being eradicated. We're here in Troy Meadows working with Wildlife Preserves on enhancing the existing wetlands through an invasive species removal program as well as other activities. Our goal is to remove these invasive plant species and restore those areas that are essentially contain monocultures of these invasive plants and replace it with native plants and with the goal of restoring the habitat for the wildlife that use this area, as well as restoring the wetland functions provided by these habitats, and thus bring the site back to what it used to be, closer, uh, closer approximation to what it used to be in terms of wetland functions and diversity. What some people see as green, I see as an environmental apocalypse. And thank God we got people uh, and organizations like Wildlife Preserves out here and uh, trying to change that situation. How did it get here? Well, back in the day, no one thought about plants escaping into the wild, so they brought them in as ornamentals or as uh, botanical curios. And uh, before you know it, some bird ate from that plant and dropped, um, dropped some berries in the form of waste into the complex, and now you have barberry everywhere. It, it just shades out all the native species and nothing else can grow, and it spreads like wildfire. Studies have shown that the dense stands of reed grass have raised the elevation of the soil beneath the marsh by several feet, displacing the water that was once so prevalent and important for marsh and migratory birds at Troy Meadows. In forest areas, barberry bushes and stilt grass fill the land and smother the seed-bearing flora that provides food, shelter, and habitat for indigenous fauna. All these invasives have created an imbalance in the ecosystem. This is the blight that many environmental organizations and individuals are attempting to heal. The Troy Meadows Project is a 5 to 20 year plan that includes the establishment of a wetland mitigation bank, deed restricting the mitigation area in perpetuity, eradicating all the invasive plant species, replacing them with native species, and restoring the meadows to its previous pristine condition. Wildlife Preserves began its Troy Meadows Preservation Project in 1952 with the private acquisition of several thousand acres of land. 62 years later, in 2014, after several years of study, mapping, and reports, 
Wildlife Preserves initiated the Troy Meadows Enhancement Project to improve the land, water, and wildlife habitat at Troy Meadows. In the meadows, Wildlife Preserves contracted a professional service to spray invasive stands of reed grass with herbicides while avoiding the original native stands of cattails and wild rice growing in the water and wetlands of Troy Meadows. In the forests surrounding the meadows, wildlife is removing mustard, mugwort, multifloral rose, digging and cutting Japanese barberry bushes, and pulling and poisoning Japanese stilt grass. Eventually, wildlife will install deer exclusion fencing in some areas of the woods and plant native woodland plants in the forest and wetland plants in the meadows. Ultimately, when the Troy Meadows Enhancement Project is complete, Troy Meadows will once again regain its stature as a high-quality wetland and premier habitat for threatened and endangered species and resident and migratory animals. Troy Meadows encompasses 3,000 acres of land located along the Whippany River in East Hanover, Hanover, and Persephone Troy Hills. The area of land being enhanced and restored is a 560-acre tract of land located at the north end of Troy Meadows, south of Interstate Highway Route 80, Route 280, and the 8280 interchange, and north of Troy Meadows Road in Persephone. For more information about wildlife preserves and Troy Meadows, go to wildlifepreserves.org and click Troy Meadows. Questions or concerns about the project or preserve can be directed to info at wildlifepreserves.org.